Hey all, so today we're going to be talking about the Nobel Prize in Physics from 2022. You remember that whole not locally real thing? We're talking about that, so let's watch a video. Hey, yeah, I'd actually like to talk about that. So in case anybody missed this, in 2022... I don't think anybody missed it, right? This was all over the news, all over TikTok, all over social media in general for like weeks after the Nobel Prize was awarded. And I mean, like this Scientific American article that you're talking about probably got millions of reads. Ew. Uh, the Nobel Prize went to the people who literally proved that the universe is not locally real. That wording is a problem. I'll explain why in a minute. I'm going to be reading excerpts from this article from the Scientific American. One of the more- Generally, Scientific American is an excellent source for science media. However, I think this article made the situation worse rather than making it better. Let's go on. Uns Settling discoveries in the past half century is that the universe is not locally real. In this context, real means that objects have definite properties independent of observation, like an apple can be read even when it's not being observed. Local means- Okay, so what they really meant here is nothing to do with observation, but to do with measurement. So what realness is about is that when you measure something, that gives you an outcome, but if you don't measure it, the property of the thing doesn't exist. But the, the issue is that we shouldn't be using the word observation, we should be using the word measurement, because observation implies an observer, a person. It implies that there's some sort of human cause, but there really isn't, at least as far as we can tell. You can measure things with a camera, just as well. That objects can be influenced only by their surroundings, and that any influence cannot travel faster than light. Which, uh, the So this is about locality, and it's a fairly good explanation. Physicists just proved that these things can not both be true. Okay, so the statement that the universe is not locally real is something like either the universe is not local, or it's not real, or both. The issue is that the experiments conducted made two critical assumptions which may or may not be true. The first critical assumption is the so-called no conspiracy assumption, which is something like when the measurements were made, by the experimenters, that those measurements were made independently of one another, that there wasn't some correlation between which axes things were to be measured about. However, it might be the case that there was a correlation. It might be the case that since the very beginning of the universe, perhaps if you think that it is anyway, since the Big Bang, the universe was designed to be in such a way that it makes the universe look like it's not local or not real or whatever, even though it was just destined to be that way. This has nothing to do with the actual particles themselves. The other critical assumption is the assumption of definiteness. Definiteness is basically the idea that when you make a measurement, only one measurement actually results from the experiment. So if you measure either spin up or spin down, you get either spin up or you get spin down, you don't get both. However, this is an assumption. Under the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, every measurement instantiates all possible outcomes. Because quantum entanglement is real, so it violates this. Basically, entanglement- Not quite. Again, you need those two critical assumptions. Entangled particles, no matter the distance, can instantaneously affect one another, faster than the speed of light. Again, they don't necessarily instantaneously affect one another unless you make certain critical assumptions. For example, the many worlds interpretation is entirely local and entirely real. The, the evidence shows that objects are not influenced solely by their surroundings, and they may- Again, assumptions being made. Also lack definite properties prior to measurement. Kind of sounds like a video game only rendering when you're using that part of it. Okay. Awesome. Hey, yeah. I okay. So my issue here is that, as, as I mentioned before, scientific literacy has decreased as a result of this article, because it makes people think that things like the simulation hypothesis is something we should take seriously. When it is very much not. And this has nothing to do with it. Like, the whole notion of realness is a physics notion. It's not like the universe doesn't actually exist, right? Anyway, I'm not mad at this creator. She was just reading something that she read. She was trying to understand it. And we can't be mad at her about that. Um, but no, <laughs> the universe isn't a simulation, homie. Dr. Blitz, the